Okay, so the fifth and final problem that we're going to work out from this uh, problem is the probability that z is greater than negative 1.17. Okay, so let's write it out so it's a little bit bigger. Probability that z is greater than negative 1.17. And once again, I see that z indicating standard normal, so I'm going to draw a bell curve. Okay, now the z number line underneath centered at zero, and we're going to try to locate this number on the number line. Negative 1.17 would be on the left since it's negative, so negative 1.17 I'll put here. Draw a little line above on the curve to indicate where that is, and let's see what we should shade. It says the probability that z is greater than negative 1.17. Greater than means to the right, right? Greater than always means to the right here. So we're looking here for the area for this entire part of the curve. Before we go to the z-table, let's think about what happens when I look up this number on the z-table. The table will give me the area from here to the center of the curve, from there to the center. But that's not the full area I want, right? I want this other half as well. So how do I know how to get that probability? Well, it's actually pretty clear, I think, that this is the full half of the curve from here over. And if it's the full half of the curve, it must have a total area of 0 0.5000. That has to be true because it's a full 50% of the curve, and the bell curve is symmetric, remember. Total area under the curve is 1, so half of it's got to be 0.5. All right, so we just have to look, look up this number, and then we see that pattern again that as we've shaded across the middle, we should add the two results together because there are two parts that make up our shaded region, this part and this part. So the total area is going to be the sum of the two values we have. So let's look up now on the table negative 1.17 so we can get that area. Okay, so now we're looking up negative 1.17 on the curve. Remember, there's no negative values, but we'll just look up 1.17 and get the exact same area. So let's find the first two digits first, 1.1. And there we have those there, right? On the leftmost column, 1.1. And then we come over till we see 7. So 1.17 gives us 0 0.3790. Okay, so now that we found this area to be 0 0.3790, we can take these two values and add them together to get our final answer. So it would be 0 0.500 plus 0 0.3790, and of course that gives you 0 0.8790. So the total answer is 87.9%. And that finishes our problem. At this point, you've done all five unique cases that can be accomplished with this bell curve table. So if you're looking for a probability on this table, every problem you encounter will be similar to one of these five problems.